In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to index a network location via a UNC path. Uh, I'm just going to go and start an index. Uh, go to modify, and you can see um, currently you can only do local disks. Um, if there's network maps here, you can actually do that. Um, but not everyone wants network maps for all the data that they want to index. Um, for this, you're going to need a patch from Microsoft. Um, if you go to the following address, you should be able to download that. So you're going to need to go to um, www.microsoft.com forward slash en hyphen us forward slash download forward slash details dot aspx question mark id equals double three eight three. Um, then you can go ahead, once you're on this page, once it's loaded, you can go ahead and click download. Um, I have posted this up on my own site, um, save you putting in such a difficult long ID there. Um, it's only a small part file, MSI file, about 2.6 meg. Um, so we we'll go ahead and download that. As I was saying, I have actually put it up on my own website. So if you go to www.matthorner.co.uk forward slash unc index msi, it's a bit easier to remember. Um, that will download straight away. Uh, it's still downloading here on my machine. I'm um, just going to save it to the desktop, but you can run it um, straight from the Internet Explorer if it's on the local machine you want to do it on. And uh, installation is pretty easy. It's just next, next, and agreeing to the license agreement um, if you have to do so. So once it's finished, it's going to ask for a reboot. Um, so to make sure the index straight away, you're going to have to press yes. So we'll reboot the PC, speed that one up a little bit. Okay, now we're back into Windows. Uh, so we're going to go to start, type in index again. That should bring up the indexing options for us. Uh, just a second, okay. Index and options is there. And um, we're going to need to go to it's, uh, the advanced tab. Let's move over to the right. Uh, once we're on the advanced tab, you'll now see add UNC location at the top here. Okay, so I'm just going to browse to my server and just find a test s server share uh, for us to test on. So I'm just going to backslash that to my server and enter my credentials in. You have to remember you're going to need to have um, your credentials for the, sh the network share you're trying to index as well. Um, so you want to save them probably in your inst your case. Um, I've just made a test location here on the backup site, so I'm going to copy the UNC path at the top, top here. UNC path to one start with backslash backslash. You can use an IP address rather than a name as well. So paste that in there, um, and then we're going to add the UNC path. And it should let us know that it's added it. There we go. Okay, so once we've done that, we can press OK and close that on there. Uh, we need to bring back up the index and options. Um, as you probably know already, Windows doesn't index PCs while it's not idle. Um, so if I just bring it up, um, as you'll see here, it wouldn't have indexed this yet. No, it hasn't indexed it yet. Okay, so we cross that off and go to index and options again. You'll probably see it's paused. Um, okay, index and options at the top here. Okay, so it's currently paused as you can see there. So if I just leave my mouse for a second to let the computer idle, it should, and just a second. There we go, it's, um, it's carried on indexing, it's only got four files there to do, so it shouldn't take a second. Um, it's done three of them. There we go, index complete. Uh, obviously, if you're doing bigger locations, it can take a little time to build up the index. It's best to just leave your PC on and let it go on, get on with it. So just type in test now, and you can see um, it's brought up three out of four of my items there, which have the word test item in in the uh, in the name. And uh, that's how you, you index a UNC path um, via Windows. Thanks for watching.